Hey guys, I'm the Living Boris, and today I want to talk about something I think a lot of us suffer from, anxiety. And specifically, I want to talk about how I cope with it. So as we get older, I think we start to realize that anxiety is just a card that we're dealt with in this life and we all have to learn how to manage that card. Like any credit card, you just have to learn how to manage that card. Um, and much like managing that card, uh, you know, you have to check for balances. You have to pay back the debt that you rack up on that card. Um, anxiety is something that's always really, really, really affected me. I mean, my skin gets super tingly. Uh, I shake a lot when I start having my episodes. I actually constantly always shake. Uh, it's just, I guess, a calming thing or a nerve thing or whatever it is. But uh, yeah, that's one of my traits. And um, one of the other triggers that I notice that happens is when I get really upset and I go into one of these episodes, one of these anxiety episodes, uh, the same thoughts start reoccurring over and over and over in my head and I get trapped in the past instead of looking forward to the future and into finding a solution. And I think that that's one of the things most of us get trapped in when it comes to anxiety. It's getting trapped in the, in the mentality of the negativity of what's happening. Uh, I do want to take a moment and say that I'm not a mental health professional in any way. If anything, I'm a mental health patient. Uh, and with that said, you know, this isn't professional advice. If you feel down in any way, if you feel any type of, uh, any type of thing that requires you to just get some emotional support, uh, just go ahead and reach out to your doctor. Let them know what you're feeling. Trust me, there's a lot of great support systems out there today. I mean, me, myself, I have a therapist now that is pretty amazing. Uh, I recently got off of meds because I chose to, uh, and I've been doing pretty okay. And that's actually one of the things that has helped me sit down here today and nervously create this video and talk to you guys. Like I said, I chose to stop taking medication a couple weeks ago, and the reason for that being I just started feeling like my mind was just very foggy. I couldn't think as fast, I couldn't process as fast, and at some point, I think I was probably feeling a little more sad than I should have. Um, the withdrawal from the medication hasn't been fun, but I can honestly say that uh, I've going to continue going to therapy and my therapist already recommended to go back to a psychiatrist and have that conversation with a psychiatrist and that's something i intend to do to just kind of keep track of my one mental well-being um so whenever i go to one of these anxiety episodes one of the things that i like to do is take a hot shower uh if any of you out there suffer from anxiety that's something you might want to try out. I've heard that it helps others more than just me by talking to others and uh, hot showers, folks, just go ahead and give it a try. Personally, myself, I just feel like it helps my nerves calm down a lot quicker. It creates some sort of stimulation that just makes me feel a lot better, a lot faster. Another thing that I uh, do for myself when I get into those anxiety attacks is aromatherapy. Um, I'll just get some sort of, um, what are they called? Essential oils. Pour some essential oils into a diffuser. Light that puppy up. And let the aroma just take my mind away. Try to concentrate on that sometimes instead of the thoughts in my own head. And uh, that's another one of the things that I call one of my fixes. Um, now, my channel. The main thing that I want to talk about on my channel, and it's one of the things that helps me the most when I have anxiety, it's just watching a movie or listening to some music. Uh, movies have been a big part of my life. They've been my go-to. Anytime I feel bad, like most of us, I believe, nowadays, um, you know, you feel bad, you go, you catch a funny movie, you catch a horror movie, you catch an action movie, um, whatever your heart desires in that moment to kind of fit your mood. And that's how movies are always been very special because they can... They can take shape into any mood that you're feeling and no matter what you feel, you can always go find some sort of uh, feeling inside of a film. 
And uh, since I was a little kid, I've always been a huge fan of Jurassic Park. For, for is one of my franchises. Uh, after Jurassic Park, I got into Star Wars, and after Star Wars, now that I'm a bit older, uh, I actually got into the MCU like a billion kajillion other of us. And the MCU is actually really, 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 really special to me. I mean, it's something that I started watching. And I'm caught up today, currently waiting on Wakanda Forever that comes out on November 11th. I don't want to ramble on too long in this video, but uh, one of my greatest medicines, and I want to go back to it, is the pop culture. Is getting into these communities with you guys and talking to you guys about all these movies that we love, especially, like I said, the MCU right now. Trying to keep up on what is going to lead up to Secret Wars is something that I'm just so caught into right now. Uh, She-Hulk was not my favorite show, but it was still a great watch. There was a lot to, to learn from there that I'm sure is going to lead into what we're going to watch in the main movies. Uh, I had a lot of disappointments in She-Hulk, but honestly, the acting made up for a lot of that. Uh, what else am I waiting for right now? Miss Marvel was something else that was awesome. Uh, that one actually really did catch my heart. Uh, watching Kamala's family was something very emotional to me. Like most of us growing up, everybody looks for that strong family and hopes to have that. Unfortunately, not everyone does. And sometimes even watching that in the movies or on a great TV show will make us feel something inside that just helps us lead ourselves towards happiness of watching those things. Another thing I'm really looking forward to right now is Captain America 4 with uh, Sam Wilson taking the mantle. Uh, Sam is somebody who definitely deserves it. He's been there with Steve Rogers since the second film. He's been pushing through with the Avengers since then. He's never stopped being loyal. He's never stopped being a great person. I mean, he took on that mantle not believing that he could, not thinking that he deserved he could. And Anthony Mackie has been a great character at just uh, portraying that, and he's really made you feel for him. Anyway, the purpose of this video is to talk about anxiety. So if you feel like you have anxiety, don't feel like you're by yourself. Uh, I'm on a journey right now to fix myself from that anxiety, from those attacks, from those dark moments, and just want to try to reach out to people. Uh, that's actually the goal of my channel right now, to just create a community for myself where I can talk to others who experience similar feelings and similar darknesses in themselves that they just want to sort out. I think the majority of people for the most part just want to be good and just want to be happy. Uh, unfortunately, there are some people out there that just that's not their goal. Their goal is a little bit more twisted and not all of us have to be like them folks. We really, we really don't. Those of us that want to do better for ourselves can do better for ourselves and can be better people. So again, I'm going to continue creating a lot more content for this channel. I just wanted to give you guys a quick conversation on anxiety, what anxiety is to me and what I do to feel a little bit better. Uh, one of the things I want to do again on my channel, like I said in my first video, is I want to invite people on to have conversations about topics like this and plug in the movies that we love and try to see how all the pop culture references mix along with these uh mental illnesses or these uh, conditions uh, just have mixed together in our lives and just try to make something out of that that you guys can all enjoy with me and conversations we can build together. So guys, if you want to help me out, you can buy me a coffee. If you don't know how to do that, go ahead, look in the description below. You're going to find a link there. Um, thank you so much for even spending time with me and watching this video. It means a lot. Uh, anybody listening is a friend of mine, in my opinion, as long as you're here for good. And my only promise is that I'm here to try to teach you something positive back and learn with you. If you're interested in keeping up with me, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell notification button. Thank you so, so much for spending time with me today, folks. It really means a lot. And again, remember, always look up. Yeah.